I was five years old when I realized my father was guilty of a terrible crime. I was sitting in Sunday church next to my mom. Dad was up front leading singing. And to occupy my restless mind and keep me from squirming off the pew, mom dug a little children's Bible out of her purse and whispered, look at the pictures. So, starting in Genesis, I began thumbing through the artwork that accompanied some of the greatest stories in the Bible. There was a a very European-looking Adam and Eve, tastefully hidden behind a hedgerow. Next, Noah's Ark, complete with a parade of paired animals streaming up the ramp of the Ark to safety. Moses looked bigger than life with the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandment tablets held high above his head just before he smashed them to pieces. Daniel in the lion's den, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. And then I got to the New Testament. Mary and Joseph, the shepherds and the magi, all adoring baby Jesus. Or the look of terror on the faces of the disciples just before Jesus calmed the storm. And then I turned a page near the end of Matthew's Gospel. And there it was, three soldiers leading a haggard-looking Jesus toward the cross. And one of those soldiers looked exactly like my father. I looked at that picture, and then I looked up at him leading, singing up on the stage, and I thought, how could you? I tugged my mom's sleeve and I pointed to the picture, waiting for the realization of what he had done to hit her like it hit me, but she just smiled and nodded. And so I said, did dad crucify Jesus? And she looked at me like I was from another planet and said, what? No, that's just a picture. Your dad wasn't even born then. Kids, right? They come up with some crazy things. Years later, though, I realized my dad did have something to do with the crucifixion of Jesus. And so did my mom and me and you, too. I mean, we didn't wield the whip or drive the nails or press the thorns into his scalp, but we were there. The Apostle Paul put it this way, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Easter the celebration of his glorious resurrection is just around the corner. But we can't get there without first going past the cross. And we can't receive the news that it was the cross that set us free until we realize it was our sin which put him there. Not a sermon, just a thought.